potential tropical cyclone one is organizing in the Gulf of Mexico and aiming to the coasts of Texas and Mexico. Practically the clouds are reaching the coasts of Texas, already producing some rain in Louisiana as well. And the tropical storm force winds already reaching the, uh, the coasts of Mexico and Texas, mainly in the cities of Brownsville and Matamoros. Right now positioned at 22.4 degrees north, 92.5 degrees west, and as you can see on the, on the satellite presentation, it's a really big system but completely disorganized. The center is not quite uh, closed uh, yet in circulation, but it's more consolidated and it's about time that the National Hurricane Center designated, uh, designates this system as a tropical storm and it will be named Alberto. Right now the system has sustained winds of 40 miles per hour with a pressure of 999 millibars and moving to the north northwest at 6 miles per hour and about to change more to the west and moving inland possibly in the next 30 hours or less depending on how fast this system moves during the Wednesday but it's expected to make landfall possibly in the early day in the early hours excuse me of Thursday local time in Mexico and as you can see on the on the projection on the on the forecast the National Hurricane Center predicts that this system is going to be designated as a tropical storm possibly by Wednesday in the afternoon and then reaching a peak intensity of 50 miles per hour before making landfall or basically making landfall in the state of Tamaulipas in Mexico but but, uh, but practically the tropical storm force winds are reaching already the coasts of Texas and Mexico and the, and the distances from different locations 375 kilometers to the northeast of Campeche 525 to the east of Altamira in Tamaulipas 571 to the east southeast of Soto La Marina as well in Tamaulipas 610 to the southeast uh, from Matamoros as well in Tamaulipas 613 to the southeast of Brownsville, Texas and 752 uh, to the southeast of Corpus Christi in Texas as well. Right now we are cold blue but expected to increase as the system gets stronger and moves closer to land. And this is the rainfall accumulations expected for the next five days according to the Comisión Nacional del Agua, a meteorological agency in Mexico. So basically uh, the highest amount of rain expected is for Panuco in the state of Veracruz in the northern part of the state of Veracruz which is about 24 to 30 inches of rain which is 600 to 800 millimeters of rain Ciudad Valles which is uh, west of Panuco about 400 to 500 millimeters of rain Chetumal uh, which is in the border or nearby the border of Belize in Mexico uh, 300 to 400 millimeters of rain this place in particular has been already flooded and basically has been raining all weekend and on practically all this week to be more precise and hasn't stopped yet and it's not expected to stop in the next day so of course Chetumal are having a rough time right now 300 to 400 millimeters of rain expected approximately or nearby in San, in San Antonio in Texas and 200 to 300 millimeters of rain expected for Soto La Marina and Monterrey approximately which is uh, 7 to 11 inches of rain in the next five days produced by this practically uh, tropical storm not designated yet but, uh, with, but a storm with tropical storm force winds but expected to be produced by this system in the next days and the sea surface temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico, 29 Celsius, so practically all good for this storm to intensify and to organize, so nothing uh, uh, for the system to not take advantage of uh, from the Gulf of Mexico. And the wind shear also, uh, is also low in the center of this system. Around the system it's strong, the wind shear is strong, and could possibly play a role on the organization of this system since it's quite big and the circulation or the rotation of the system is also quite big reaching some areas where the wind shear is quite strong which could prevent the system to fully consolidate or to fully organize and 
but still expected to reach tropical storm status before reaching the state of Tamaulipas in the early hours of Thursday. And the GFS model predicting that this system is going to reach tropical storm status before making landfall and then another tropical system trying to form or at least a disturbance forming in the Gulf of Mexico nearby the location where the potential tropical cyclone 1 is currently located that's in the, in the next 5 days a 5 days projection is quite unprecise and not really, um, not really certain but still could be something to, to look at since uh, the humidity and the conditions are, are quite good for, sto for, for storms forming in the next days so practically the near future is going to be quite eventful for, for Mexico in particular the multimodal diagnostics, uh, basically the, the different models are, are agree with the intensity of the storm, 35 to 40 knots, reaching 45 knots of intensity before making landfall in Tamaulipas and then rapidly dissipating. The wind shear levels, quite low and moderate and then increasing dramatically in the next day as it makes, la as it makes landfall in Tamaulipas and then rapidly dissipating. And the sea surface temperatures as we saw, 29 Celsius, 30 Celsius and then the humidity quite, uh, quite high as well, 75 to 80% which is absolutely good for the system to, uh, to have some energy and to intensify and consolidate as well as a tropical storm possibly in the next hours before it makes landfall. But then you have the, the products of Force 13, this is the uh, this is a satellite anim animation of different, uh, well, different like floaters uh, from our website. So you will, you should take, you should take a look and discover many tools that we have for you at our website in force13.com. And practically, this is the update of pon uh, of potential tropical cyclone one, and it's uh, just about time to see a newly designated tropical storm and practically making the start of this hurricane season in the Atlantic with the naming of Alberto in the next hours if the system consolidates and get its act together before reaching Tamaulipas. Thank you so much and see you on the next update. Become an ultimate fan today.